sure. That sounds like an absolute epic crossing that you've just witnessed there in the Mara. Back here in South Africa, we have some movement from Temba. Now, he's been yawning quite a lot, which tends to suggest he's trying to get oxygen into his bloodstream, so it's oxygenating his muscles, and that's going to be ready for him to get up and move. I'm just hoping he's not going to go south because at the moment he's on the property that we can't go on to so we need to everybody will him to come this way <laughs> so if everyone collectively thinks go north it might work so as I said before leopards are so elusive and we are really learning about leopard behavior and you guys are actually learning with us so it could well be, I think Tristan put quite a good argument forward that um, Tandy has not been in as far into the Juma area as she has done today. And it could well be that she's come into a false estrus to try and uh, sort of align herself with the big male in the area. And that, that makes a lot of sense to me. And I, I think that's a, a good argument for what's been going on. So it could be that she doesn't fall pregnant from that encounter, or it could be that this little boy is actually becoming independent and actually it is a true estrus. So it's certainly going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. But generally speaking, what we have known in the past is that females will go and mate once the offspring has left. But as we learnt today and uh, in the past, sometimes it doesn't work like that. Okay. So there's another vehicle that's just joined us. Pisces Bobby, definitely a gorgeous kitty cat. And he is beautiful. I can see he's actually got the markings like Mishu, his half brother, he's about three years old. <laughs> So we've just had a vehicle pull in to the sighting, so we're just uh, taking them off camera for you because we are live at the end of the day, so we just got to work around the other guys because obviously all the guests want to have a nice view of the animals as well. But I think they've pulled in now so we can go back to him. But he, yeah, so his half-brother Mishu had the little Y at the corner of his eyes. Hi Richard, and that is a question that we'd all like the answer to. How many leopards are there in Africa? Because leopard are quite widespread, I think they've gone under the radar a little bit. I think people have overestimated leopard numbers quite dramatically. And there was actually a paper that came out last year that then questioned... Uh, I think there's going to be another vehicle. Oh, I think that might be a different different sighting then. So I just might have to make space for somebody to come in. So, as I say, it is, it is difficult because they are just so elusive. So it has been difficult to, to count them. But now with technology, with camera traps and things like that, uh, as I've been using in my own research, uh, we've actually been able to shed light on the fact that perhaps there's not as many leopards as what people think. They actually think now that they've 
been reduced from about 70% of their original range. Now that's a huge amount of decrease. There we go. He's up and moving. No, wrong way. Wrong way. Come this way. Demba, come here. <laughs> I don't want you to go that way. They always say, don't work with children and animals, and this is exactly why. They don't do what you ask them to. Look at that. And gone. And that's exactly why it 